Okay, good morning. I am a big YouTube fan, and I have seen so many people put videos on YouTube, and I wonder, why did they put these videos on here? To me, they don't make any sense. But this, these individuals put videos on YouTube simply because they're just fun. So what I decided to do was do something that I enjoy doing, and just just for the sheer curiosity of how many views my video would get. Now, I'm doing this myself with a digital camera, so I don't have any fantastic camera angles or anyone to help me at the moment. But what I decided to do, just for sheer fun, is cook breakfast. Obviously, already I'm entertaining people because I can't even get the bacon out of the saran wrap. There we go. Alright, so just for the heck of it, I'm going to videotape myself cooking breakfast, which is pancakes cooked in bacon grease. The bacon's uh, frozen, so it's going to take a little while to get going, but not too long. And I'm going to start my coffee. Alright. So, I've got my bacon going, and I'm going to mix up my pancake batter. Again, just for the sheer curiosity of how many people will watch a senseless video, only because it's fun. Why not? And if you're, and I enjoy watching videos on cooking. I like the cooking channel. You can't see me over here, but you can see my bacon. You can hear it frying. You can hear the coffee going in the background. I like the cooking channel just because I enjoy cooking and I like watching people cook and I like learning from how people cook. So this is one big four cup uh, bowl. Rinse it out because I haven't used it in a few weeks. Alright. And I'm not going to measure because I've been cooking pancakes for a long time. So I can kind of wing it. There's two of us that are going to be eating this morning. I can take kind of a lot of mix. Alright, and I'm going to break it up a little bit. Maybe we can put away a ton of pancakes. What I'm going to do is actually put a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg in my pancake batter. Put a little cinnamon in there, not a whole lot, just enough. And I didn't plan ahead, so I don't have nutmeg. So what I'm going to do is use pumpkin pie spice with the cinnamon, or not, because it's empty. All right, this is why people make senseless videos without any pre-planning, because it's fun and stuff goes wrong. Found my nutmeg. Just a little bit, maybe. Maybe about a teaspoon. I like lots of nutmeg. I'm not going to add the liquid to this yet because I don't want this activated too soon. Mix it all up. Some bacon frozen. There. Clog out really quickly. I love pancakes. Put the egg and grease. Now, if this bacon was thawed, you would want to put it on a cold pan because when the pan is cold and then you turn it on to cook the bacon, you put, let me start again. You put the bacon slab on a cold pan. They don't bubble up like this is bubbling up here. I love my griddle because you can cook more than one pancake at a time. You can cook like six or eight depending on the size you make them. And then your family can eat together. That's kind of important. Now, all right. Now I'm going to put the water in the coffee pot. Okay. 
Now my coffee's going. Now I want the bacon grease spread all over this, so I'm going to move the bacon around a little bit while I'm cooking. And as you can bet, my house smells pretty darn good right now with this delicious bacon. And what I'm going to do while the bacon is cooking is I'm going to actually cut up some butter and put it in a pan and melt it on the stove. So that just before I take the pancakes off the griddle, I will spoon the melted butter onto the pancakes. I just find that tip a little bit easier than putting cold butter on pancakes and waiting for it to melt. I have this low, I have it on 300 degrees because the bacon was frozen. So now I'm going to turn it up to 350. Pancakes need a hot griddle, so once I take the bacon off, I'm going to turn it up to 400 and let it heat up before I put the pancakes on. Okay, this is probably a long video, but that's okay. I like long YouTube videos. I like videos, you know, people are just interested in other people. That's as simple as it is, I think. People are just interested in other people. If they weren't, why would all these reality shows be on, which aren't really reality? I mean, I'm not going to get any any injections to make the wrinkles go out of my forehead later, but I am going to floss my teeth. But I'm not going to videotape that. I'm also going to do grocery shopping, but I'm not a coupon uh, hoarder. So we won't videotape that either today. So my bacon is turning a beautiful, beautiful golden brown. Look at all this gorgeous, gorgeous bacon grease. Oh, my pancakes are going to taste so good. You probably don't need to turn your bacon this much. I just play with my food. And I like to watch it so I don't overcook it on one side. There, oh, that's beautiful. Okay. I'm going to put some milk. Wait a minute. I need milk or water for this. I'm probably going to use milk. It doesn't matter what it says. I'm going to put milk in it. Milk. I love eggs, so I'm going to put a little oil in there. You can use a little bit of oil to substitute. Um, if you don't have eggs, you can put a little oil to substitute. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. milk to put in there because again I'm just winging it because it's just pancakes not rocket science and it 
it's a little thick. Do I need more milk? If you add too much milk, you can always add more. between wet and dry and wet and dry. Bacon. There we go. And right after I take the pancakes off, I'll put the bacon back on for a second to heat it through a little bit. I should drain that on paper towels, but guess what? I'm out of paper towels, which is why I'm going to it. Now, I want this, this to cook in the bacon grease, but not whole lot of bacon grease. Not the flavor. Scrape that off a little bit. There we go. Let's see. Oh yeah, I love that sound. I'm going to make kind of smaller pancakes. But there's a, two of us eating. And they spread out nice. And that way, myself ate four pancakes and he didn't, you know, really eat as much as he thinks he did. So it's kind of a psychological thing I've got going on here. And you wait for the bubbles to come up and pop. And after you see the bubbles, it's time to turn the pancakes. These are nice and brown. Not quite done yet. Oh, you know what? I didn't turn the pancake. I didn't turn it up to 400 degrees. Man, I said I was going to do that, and I didn't. So even though it looks like it's ready, it's not really hot enough to turn. Because it's sticking, but oh well. See, you got so much for following my own advice. My griddle wasn't hot enough. There we go. Looks to me like they're going to be okay anyway. Of course, people who fo folks on the Food Network, beautiful. They have a whole crew and editors. I don't have editors. I just have me. This cinnamon and nutmeg smells amazing. You can't see it on this side, but there's a little bit of pancake batter puffed up through there, so I know that they're not done cooking yet. Because I can actually see that it's raw. Oh man, these are puffing up nice. I 
like the way pancakes hold their heat. So while you have these on a plate, while you're cooking the second batch, they still kind of stay warm. They don't lose their heat immediately. So you're not going to serve anyone cold pancakes by cooking a second by waiting while you cook a second batch. And ordinarily, you don't need to turn the pancakes over. But I'm going to do it to heat the other side and uh, put the butter on. I'm just going to put a little bit of butter because it's melted so it looks like there's more butter than there is. Spoon it around. Put the butter on the pancake and use the back side of the spoon to spread it around. I just like this and I just think it saves a step later. Yummy! Pretty awesome. I'm going to put these all on one plate for a moment while I cook the rest. Pretty cool. Now, now my griddle's up to 400. I don't buy processed foods. I don't buy pre-mixed stuff. Well, this is a mix. This can't quite stop as a mix. But what I have learned, because you can buy frozen pancakes in the store, is you can make extra, freeze them in a single layer in your freezer, and then when they're completely frozen, you can put them on a cookie sheet or something. When they're completely frozen, you can put them in a bag or wrap them up. And then you can microwave them slowly, a little bit at a time, and turn them over and warm them up slowly, and then you have a breakfast in less time than what it takes to do this. Pancake batter is the worst, so rinse that off right away. You gotta wait for these to bubble so you know that they're done. I'm not gonna put butter on these because I am going to freeze them. And I didn't wait for them to bubble, did I? Because, yep. This is a little thick. Come on. There we go. Look, that one. Look yuck. Perfect. That one's good. So, you know what? I've always thought you're supposed to wait for pancakes to bubble when you cook them and that's how you know that they're ready to turn but these didn't bubble and I wonder if it's because it's thick because I added the oil and not the egg that could possibly be it that's probably exactly what it is these are looking pretty except that one but it's going to taste just as good as the rest of them. I think. 
They're still steaming, so you know that they're still cooking. on a bigger platter because I'm going to put it in the freezer. My freezer is kind of too full now for a cookie sheet. But this will work just fine. I'm going to freeze them in a single layer. bacon back on to heat it through a little bit. All right. I hope you enjoyed watching my video with all my mistakes as much as I enjoyed making it. Oh yeah. Have an awesome day.